Welcome back. This is Arcade Night, and today we have a game-changing episode. We're going to get some bodyguards for our general. Join one of the four emperors, but, but don't worry guys, it's only as a means to an end, and unleash this war chariot on some poor barbarians. So guys, I want you to sit back on your comfy thrones. I want you to grab a golden chalice of your favorite tasty beverage. And let's get ready to play Imperial Rome. I'm just enjoying my new chariot. Exploring some of these villages. And uh, trying to make a decision as to who I'm going to join. And who I'm going to serve as emperor temporarily. But uh, guys, there it is. There is the chariot. Now I'm going to explain to you in this episode everything I know about it, all the chariots in the game. Especially some issues that I've run into. And I'm going to try to help you guys out to avoid those same issues with chariots. But, first of all, guys, we need to get out of here. And we need to head to this town. That's really close by because I think, I hope he's still there. There should be a beast merchant in the tavern. If I'm not mistaken, uh, there you are. And guys, we're going to buy some bodyguards for our general right now today. I'm so excited. So show me what you have for sale, good sir. Okay, so here's what I want to tell you about, guys. I tried buying a chariot from the beast merchant. And these chariots, for whatever reason, don't work on the battlefield. You guys let me know in the comment section. If you've bought a chariot from a beast merchant and it's worked, you let me know. But I've been talking to the mod developer. Can't quite figure out what's going on. But I bought some of these chariots, guys. And um, the cart doesn't appear on the battlefield. So I actually went and found this chariot in a town and bought that chariot. And it seems the chariots you buy from horse merchants in towns work just fine. But I'm not here for a chariot. I am here for a a pack of dogs. That's right. Six mighty dogs to protect the general. I am so excited. And guys, we're going to check out the dogs first um, before we use our chariot in battle. Okay, so I think we're ready. That dog only cost us 2000 That'll be okay. Thank you, good sir. Uh, guys, so let's get out of here. And what we're going to do today is is we're going to join one of the four emperors. And also, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing since the last time we were together. So guys, I'm going to start heading to my next, my next destination. And when we get there, I'm going to cut right back. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. I've been raiding a lot of villages and spending all my money either paying for my army or investing in enterprises in different towns. So I've split it up and um, I've found what I think to be the best returns for my money. A dive works here, iron works here, wine press in Alexandria does pretty well, and a tannery in Serta is surprisingly profitable. Um, so I'm gonna buy one more enterprise, guys, today before we head off and join an emperor. And I thought I found one here that was pretty good. Um, I looked through them all as I was exploring around, and I think the one that gives me the best bang for my buck is um, a die works here. Yep, 10,000, it's expensive, but 564 dinars is pretty good, it's pretty good. And I've been saving up for this, so I think we're in pretty good shape. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I have decided, based on me wanting to start my small empire somewhere in this area, this looks like a nice area to start. Um, it's right here. It's all coastal. There's three towns. Um, Bosporan Kingdom's pretty tough, though, so we're going to have to see. We're going to need some help. But worse comes to worse, I could always take on Judea because they're pretty easy and relatively small. So that's why I thought we joined Vespasian. So he is over here in the east, guys. So we're going to join the east party and uh, help out Vespasian until it suits our needs. So I'm going to search around for Vespasian once I find him, guys. We're going to offer him our service, although temporarily, and then we're going to start our next part of our plan, rampaging through Judea, trying to fund my army and my bid for emperor. I believe it is General Rufus's lucky day because I've found Emperor Vespasian right here in Alexandria. So let's go ahead and talk to him and offer him our legion. Yes, yes. Um, I would like to offer you my sword. I am ready. Yes. Uh-huh. I will remain loyal 
until it suits my needs. Uh-huh, yes. Yes, of course. I shall, and you give me... Okay, you give me that little village. I believe it's in Greece. Very good! And I believe we're at war with the Parthians. Okay, well, that, that suits my needs just fine. Thank you, good sir! Guys, we're going to get out of here. We're going to venture off to our little village, and then we're going to start unleashing our dogs and chariots on these poor barbarians. So, guys, I'm going to see you in a second. The war against the Parthians, guys, it's really heating up, so we got to get to the front lines really quickly. But first of all, we got to check out our village and also pick up some food. So let's go to the village center and check it out a little bit. Ah, here we go. All right, so this will do for now. This will do for now. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to manage this village. We have a little bit of money. Um, and I think a mill will give us the best return on our investment. Only a thousand? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and then, um, do you guys have any food? Ooh, we have tons of iron, though. Wow. Look at all that iron. I wonder if I could trade that iron. We'll have to see. 208, that's a pretty good price. Also, I can recruit some volunteers here. But I'm going to show you some better recruitment options a little bit later. Um, and also, guys, one of the cool functions of when you have a village, you can't retrieve any of the men you put in the garrison, but um, you can have a garrison in your village, but you just can't retrieve them. So I guess if someone comes and attacks it, they'll defend it. We'll have to see how that works out. And you can't get the prisoners either or the slaves. So now that we know that, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head out. Hmm. What would be great is, yeah, first of all, let's go to this East Party town and recruit some more men. Let's recruit some more archers. Um, yes, I will do my own thing for now. Thank you, good sir. Okay, so let's recruit some more archers from here. So, here's how it works. Now that I'm a part of this, this faction, um, I could go to the marketplace and I could hire troops and they actually show up. So I could either hire just traditional infantry, low-level troops um, in 1s, 5s, or 10s, or some elite archers. And I'm going to go ahead and get 10 of these elite archers. Um, I guess I can get one more, and my party is full. Okay, so, guys, I think we're in really good shape now. And so if you look at my party, I think they... Yep, there they are. They're, they're the ones. And uh, let's put them with the rest of my archers. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to march on to the front lines, and we're going to unleash my dogs and chariots on these poor barbarians. See you guys in a second. I have been chasing down Parthians, and they're impossible to catch. I think they have a lot of cavalry. But I think what we're going to do is go ahead and start a war with Judea. Let me go ahead and rampage through their lands, just like I was planning on. And that way, Vespasian will be spread thin with a war on two fronts. But this guy doesn't even know what's coming. Uh, I am General Rufus, good sir. Yes, I demand something from you. I offer you a chance to surrender. Uh, no, this is none of your business. Prepare to fight. Prepare to fight. I'm going to unleash my dogs on you, good sir. Also, my onager. All right, so let's uh, get everything set up forward. And there are my dogs. There are my dogs. Come here, puppies. Come here. Come here, puppies. Okay, let's uh, set up my cavalry way over on this flank. Set up the infantry forward. And then the uh, the archers right behind. Cavalry, like I said, I launch you on this far flank. And then onagers, what you could do is you could have them change to use rocks. And apparently rocks are a little bit more accurate at long distance. And make sure my engineers are holding back. Engineers, hold back. The dogs are holding back. All right, uh, make sure you guys are standing in the shield wall. And then standing right here, that crest. Let my dogs through. Let my dogs through. All right, let's see if we can, if we can uh, actually hit them and provoke them. Come on, Onager. There's there. There you see. Without fire, there's the cannonball. Hmm. I think I like the. Um, I think I like the, the burning tar and pitch better. I think we're gonna have to move forward though. All right, infantry. Let's go ahead and move forward. Set up our archers right here. And uh, you know what? Let's set up the cavalry here because they're kind of co 
spot next to this hill. And that would make them... Oh, don't hit my men! Don't hit my men! I can't wait to see my dogs in action, guys. Come on! Come on, puppies! Come on! Catch up! Catch up to the general! Let's go! Let's go! Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Alright, they do have a little bit of cavalry. Alright, let's go ahead and move our men forward. We're gonna, we're gonna pinch them. We're gonna pinch them right here. Set up my archers right here. Set the cavalry coming from this direction. Yeah, we'll pinch them right up against this, this mountain. So that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do. There we go. Now we got some business going. Oh, looks like the dogs are going in. Let's go ahead and send the infantry in. Sit the cavalry. Kind of take out these orchards in the back. Come on, infantry, move up. Move up, infantry. Oh, my dog's already taken out. Let me see if I can. Oh, no. I got caught up. No, 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 no. Doggies, help me. Help the general. Ah, oh, shoot. Cavalry, we got him right where we want him. Go ahead and charge in while the infantry charges in. We've got them caught. There we go. All right, minimal. A little distracted by my dogs there. They did such a great job. They killed more than I think uh, General Rufus did in this battle. Yeah, I got you, good sirs. I got you. Okay, guys, we're going to finish this off. And I think we're going to find another unex unexpected uh, Hebrew that we're going to unleash our chariot on in the next battle. So, guys, I'm going to see you in a second. You hear those dogs barking? You hear them barking? Guys, they want some action, and I think we have a fool. Another fool who doesn't even know what's coming. But before we do that, let's make sure we have our chariot set up so we're ready to go. And, oh, there we go. There we go. I am General Rufus, good sir. And my dogs are coming after you. That's right. That's right. Okay, guys, let's get ourselves ready. Let's get the onager ready. All right, so um, let's get all of our men forward before. And here's what we do. We need to go ahead and press F to dismount. Ah, oh, and it did not work. Sometimes that happens, guys. Let's try this one more time. I'm glad, I'm glad we saw that. So let's go ahead, and if you dismount, there you go. You get put on the back of the chariot. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up our infantry forward. Archers in the back. Let's set the cavalry over to this right flank. And where are my engineers? Engineers right near the onager. All right, guys, and the way to use the chariot is you use the arrow keys. I'm going to have to run through some of my men. Use the arrow keys, not the WSAD keys. Those keys you can actually move on your chariot. But uh, it's not easy. It's not easy to manage the chariot. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and set up our infantry. Mm, let's see. Let's set them up this way. There's a reason why. Because my chariot works much better if I'm operating coming off of a hill our straight plane. I'm going to try to smash through their lines with my chariot and my dogs. Let's see if we can get them to run right into my infantry and my archers. Okay. Let's get the chariot moving forward. Ah, here we go. Here's a good line. Here's a good line. There's a good line. All right. I think we're in good shape. Okay, so I see there's some cavalry there. Guys, what we're going to do is we're just going to smash right through. Smash right through. Let's get some speed. Let's get some speed. Full speed. Full speed. Full speed, General. Full speed, General. Let's smash through them. Oh, here comes the horses. Oh, I didn't do much damage there. Oh, I think I killed a couple. Or oh, is that my... Is that my dogs? I sure broke them up. See if we can smash through one more time. Ah, not enough speed. They know we're on camera now. They're like, we are not going to let this general embarrass us. All right, let's take another, another go around. Smash right into the center of them. 
Alright, well, let's get these archers. They're not even expected. Oh, I cannot believe you bastards! You bastards. Alright, let's take another round. Unbelievable. I think they figured out the tactics against chariots. <laughs> See if we can hit it this time. Unbelievable. Oh, I'm gonna keep circling you. I'm gonna keep circling you. Get my fire arrows in there. There we go. Nice. Go chariot, go! Alright, one more. Alright, so I'm gonna get out of here. Send my cavalry sweeping through this way. Come on, chariot. Go, 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 go! Climb up the hill, chariot! Climb up the hill! You're in a dangerous spot! Come on, cavalry. Come through, come through, come through. All right, Calvary, come over this way. Um, are you out of your mind? All right, I'm gonna send my infantry down. We're gonna have to try to use that chariot better one more time they are not easy to manage I'll tell you that not easy to manage at all all right let's go to the infantry in the infantry in let's finish this off guys let's finish this off enough toying around general's played with his new toy enough come here there you go there you go finish those men off keep going All right, I'm gonna send the cavalry in. All right, guys, we're gonna finish these men off. I think what we 22 of them left. Oh, these poor Hebrews. Take them off their horses. Kill them. Kill them all. All right, guys, we're gonna chase down these last Hebrews, and then we're gonna head on to one more battle because I just want to run through a complete line of enemies with my chariot. So guys, when I'm ready, I'm going to cut right back. I'm going to see you guys in a second. Now, I'm sorry, Joseph, it's a bad day, but you have run into the Roman army, and um, it's time for you to surrender or die. And I want you to stand still. I want you to stand still because I'm bringing in my chariot again. I'm bringing in my chariot again. They just need to get out of the way. All right, so everybody, let's stand forward. Let's stand forward. Let's get out of the way. Let the general come through with his huge, cumbersome chariot. I know, I know, I know. I've got dogs, I've got chariots. It's... I know, I know. Get, get out of the way, get out of the way. Here we go, here we go. I will master this chariot, I swear to you. Here they are. Okay, so... Set our infantry down below. Set my cavalry here. And uh, make sure that infantry is in shield wall. Alright. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. My dogs will probably get in the way. Here comes their cavalry. Well, guess what? Here comes my cavalry! Alright, I'm gonna aim. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, they're moving. There we go. There we go. Oh, here we go. Yes. Did they just part ways? Well, I did get a level. Oh, and I did. I did kill. I killed two, two Jewish militia with that pass. I just don't think this is the best chariot. I need to get a better chariot. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yes. Ah, oh, that felt good. I felt so good. Turn it around. Another pass. Alright, I think done the best I can. 
Oh, it's so tempting. Come on, I'm just waiting. Hiding on the other side of this hill. Alright, I think this is... I think this is the best pass I'm gonna get. This is it! Yes! One kill. One kill. Ah, that sucks. Since the fire arrows down on him. I'm trying to get that level 15, guys, so I can uh, start getting some companions. That's the way it works in this mod. You gotta hit level 15 and then some of your actual men upgrading the companions, which I think is a great function. I cannot wait to see how that truly works. Alright, I'm gonna bring bring my uh, my chariot over. I think all my, my dogs are injured. Stop shooting at me! Alright, let's fight with my men one more time. Ah, let's park my trusty war chariot right here. And let's get off, guys. Let's get off this. Are you men ready? Let me have my legion on me. Where's my legion? Come on, legion. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna march down here, guys. And we're just... Oh, yeah. Here it is. Here it is. You ready, guys? You ready, men? You ready? Charge in. Charge in! Guys got caught up. Hey, you better run, buddy. You better run. Keep your ass moving. All right, let's send the cavalry in. Finish this off. I have infantry hold back here. Where's my cavalry? I have them hiding. Come on, cavalry. Finish these men off. Where are you? Where are you? I'm expecting you. There they are. So slow. So slow. Chase them down. Chase them down. Ah, oh, so gratifying. So gratifying. The army's really coming together, guys. And uh, I'm loving the chariot. It's a little difficult to use, but I think maybe I just need to buy a better chariot. I think that's what I need to do. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had an amazing time. We explored dog guard dogs. We explored chariots. We joined Emperor Vespasian. And guys, there's so much more to do. We need to start our bid to become emperor ourselves. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that like button. You know it helps me out so much. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. We're having a good time here, guys. I'm celebrating with my men. You should be celebrating too because this is an awesome mod. Guys, again, I want to thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time on Imperial Rome.